Oh, Bonzo, my boy, you look better than ever. You have no clue how good it feels to have you back. I mean, now that I look at it a little bit closer, your collar is a little bit off. Maybe a small mishap in the intergalactical and interdimensional rescue mission I had to embark on to save your soul or something. Ah, look, I don't know, but you're back. And you're back just in time, too. Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Waddles, and welcome back. In today's episode, well, look, I'll say it. We're going to build one of the best farms to have in all of this game. Truly, truly, you're just in time. Now, in order to ensure the long-term longevity, safety, and survival of sweet dear Bonzo, I need you to do me a favor. Right down below this video, go ahead and find that button that looks like a thumbs up. Tap it firmly and solidly. And then let's talk about bamboo. The question that I posed to all of you right at the end of the last episode. Well, the submission box, the answer bin for that one is still open. Still heavily and highly considering it, but more importantly, last episode we went on a worldwide journey. We traveled across basically every single biome, collected up every single type of wood, brought it back, built this wall, talked about farming every type, and then kind of cruelly I left you on a cliffhanger. Uh, you see bamboo wood. How in the world do you farm that stuff? Well... Let me show you. You know how it goes. Any good bamboo farm in any good world needs a good spot for a good bamboo farm. Right before this episode, my main goal, my project, what I had to do is walk around and look at the world and just take it in. And I, <laughs> look, I don't want to blow too much wind in our own sails here, but I like the world. I, I like it. In fact, maybe I love it. I might be in love with this world. I might propose to it sooner or something. I don't know. Right, long story short, we got this build over there. We got this cool build right there. This build right here with the fog. Imagine how cozy and cool this area would feel if I had a build sitting right there, precisely in front of the portal, next to the ominous orb in the distance. I mean, yeah, that would slap. Firmly, solidly, and rather hardly, too. And so, just like that, with a lead-in let in properly, I would like to introduce you to my friend. I, well, honestly, to be honest, maybe no introduction needed. You might have had it. This, this is Street Chopless, reporting for duty. A ton of digging and a little bit of tree chopping later and we have a giant flat area that looks something like that over there on the hill. Ah, giant flat area that looks something like that on the hill. It's hard to tell always when setting up like a new build and adding to the world in such an important spot. Like, I want to make sure I get it just right. I think it should maybe sit on that layer right there. I don't think I should dig it any lower than that. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, look, I can't decide. I mean, it's a decisive lab, but no matter what, we got to get going with the project. Bamboo. There are kind of like two categories of different ways one could farm bamboo. We've got automatic and we got manual. Now, if one was looking to farm bamboo in the manual way, I mean, great news is so, so easy. Essentially, all you need to do is plant bamboo down and bone meal the bamboo or just let the bamboo grow naturally on its own. Walk over to it with a sword and instantaneous or like basically bamboo it falls all over the place in the ground like i mentioned the true beauty to this bamboo farming method is its sheer simplicity like i mean this thing is so easy to build and just like that i've built a wonderful bamboo farm inside of the end i can walk up and chop it but with redstone it'll be a little bit more expensive but then it'll just harvest automatically for me i said but then it will harvest automatically for me and imagine how beautiful it would be if i had wood being automatically harvested for me the entire time we're walking around at our base doing another episodes, different builds, different projects, farms, adventure, lore, all of it. Automatic, free, cheap and easy wood. Oh, that sounds like a dream to me. So it's a little known fact here that sweet dear Bonzo, well, one of Bonzo's most favorite blocks of all time has got to be the copper Minecraft block. The copper Minecraft block is not a block that we've done much with quite yet. In fact, nothing. Uh, now look, I don't really know exactly if this is gonna pull off and be Bonzo's full vision so and yeah yeah yeah. by the way like if it doesn't work out for whatever reason in today's episode this wasn't really my build idea by the way it was actually Bonzo's build idea so if it looks bad it's yeah it's on Bonzo anyways here over at the lava farm it's running beautifully a while ago I was able to get lava sources on every single top spot and then I've actually slowly but surely been moving lava sources down here 
While I try and begin to work on today's build and make a little bit of progress on it, 100% what I'm going to be doing is running over here and smelting up copper. Instead of using up my precious, precious coal that I have inside of my inventory, now that we have this wonderful lava farm, all that I'm going to need to do is remember to come back over here, pull ingots out, and swap things in. What we'll do here is we'll give that farm a little bit of time and let it run. Eventually, I get a lot of copper ingots. Then I get copper ingots and I get a copper block. And of course, I could build with the copper block and I probably will too. But even more useful for today's build palette, we can take the copper block and cut it. Cut it into four solid blocks. Logically, I have no clue. But cut it into four blocks. Pair that with maybe, say, a little bit of bamboo. And ooh, we might have a beautiful build on our hands. Or a terrible one that was Bonzo's idea but I built it for him, so it doesn't matter. Now, the only problem here with my grand scheme for a beautiful looking build is I'm gonna need a lot of bamboo. If I wanna build with the bamboo wood block, I need to begin farming the bamboo wood block. Temporarily, for now, I think we'll set up a small farm, something like that right there, next to the portal. Because bamboo grows relatively quickly, I mean, like, look at that. I think in pretty much no time, we'll have more than enough bamboo to actually plant inside of the farm, but also to build with today. Now over here at the build site today, we'll go ahead and use some temporary blocks for now until I can get the real ones. 100%, I wanna have a corner of the build sitting somewhere like that. I wanna make sure I set the build far enough back for like a road in front of the thing. I wanna say probably something like this should be good. I don't want the road to be too big. After that, I know for 100% certain, I wanna have windows to look into this farm. The windows are of course gonna be glass, so uh, we'll come back and get that later. Then I wanna have a dividing spot. I wanna go maybe like three more, and then I wanna do it all again one more time. That's gonna mean the final corner of this building is gonna sit right there. Now all I need to decide is, do I need to move it? Or do I just pull the land up? I think that one, that'll be easier. Another thing I'm gonna have to work out a little bit later on while I work on today's build here today is this hill. It's definitely gonna be way too close. Gee, how's it gonna be a lot of digging with a stone shovel? I really could use a villager and mending and a diamond shovel and... <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do that soon. Look, lads, I hate to say it, I really do. You know how much this pains me to say, but the first component of our bamboo farm is gonna be a little bit expensive. We're gonna place a double chest down on the ground like that, eventually cover it with glass so that won't be a problem. We're gonna have a hopper, very expensive right now in my current situation, going into that. Now, on either side of this farm, because I know for certain that I'm gonna have a wall sitting right there, I'm gonna place some powered rail. I'm sure, technically speaking, because of the size of this gap being not that big and all, I could probably get away with one powered rail. But if I put two, I mean, it's not gonna hurt. We'll have powered rails with a block right there. With the block placed solidly right behind a powered rail, when a minecart hits it, it'll bounce right off and go back and forth forever. Now it's aesthetics. This is gonna be the bottom part of the farm, so I think maybe something like cobblestone in there. That could look kinda cool. And now that my copper's been smelting up for a little bit of time, Bonzo is <laughs> so happy. I can feel it. What I think I wanna do here is place a little bit of a combination. Now I like some of the proper full solid copper blocks, so that part would be a little bit more expensive. But then to keep things at a clean, affordable cost, we'll probably come in here and mix in some of the other copper blocks as well. Now this is where it's all decisions, decisions. You see, I, it's been a long time since I built with copper, but I'd never really built with bamboo. Other than the island survival series, I'd never really built with bamboo. Let alone like the whole yellow and orange combination. And that's where I think fully oxidized copper might slap a little bit harder here. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Redstone components, redstone components. To build this farm and pull it all off, we're gonna need to build now not just one, but two brand new redstone components that I I don't think we've ever built inside of this world quite yet. Pistons. Did I build a piston anywhere? I don't think so. So the piston is gonna be the first of two redstone component blocks that we're gonna need to build for this farm. Or in other words, redstone related blocks. The other one that we're gonna need to build is observers. Now looking at how long our farm is gonna be here, we're gonna need 13 of each block. So that's really not that bad. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I think that's, that's gotta be good luck, right? That definitely means good luck. This, is, this farm is gonna help us out huge time. I mean, it's right where money is. It's a sign of profit. Now, if you're newer to Minecraft Auto Farms, well, some of the best news that you're gonna hear all day here is that this is one of the easiest automatic farms to build in the entire game. You don't really need that many materials at all. 
And I mean, it's easy to build. If you're older to auto farms inside of Minecraft, then you will already know that this is so sad. It's so terrible. We need even more hoppers, even more mine carts. I need an iron farm. <sighs> it's like all signs are pointing to villagers. So before we close up this first layer that we're going to plant bamboo on eventually, we're going to place a hopper minecart right there and push it on the rail line. That's going to start the hopper minecart in forever. As long as I don't bump it or anything, it's going to run. Now back up here, I'm going to come in with a little bit more cobblestone. I want to do a whole back wall of this stuff. Now the cool thing about a bamboo farm, both manual and fully automatic, is you got options on options. This bamboo farm that we're going to build here today, I mean, it's going to be good and it's going to be really, really nice long term. But if you want something more efficient, it might be a little bit smarter to involve like slime blocks and flying machines and things like that. For today though, with low iron and everything like that, all we're going to do is do a line of random blocks and we're going to do a line of pistons right there. Now this is the beginning of the beautiful automatic contraption. I love this thing so much right here. Next up, right behind the piston, because of how redstone works, we're going to need any kind of block. It doesn't really matter at all. I'm going to go in here with basalt because... I mean, basalt not only kind of looks like a machine from the inside, I might be able to see it, so I want to make sure it looks good. But also, 100%, I won't have any other basalt in the rest of the build, so I won't, like, accidentally mine it or confuse it or anything like that. After that, we do a line of redstone dust on top of the basalt. To finish everything off, facing the sunset, we're going to have observers right here, and believe it or not, that's the entire bamboo farm, or at least, like, the entire automatic part of the bamboo farm that we need today. All I need to do is put a couple of strategically placed blocks around this thing. And it's going to be running immediately. Now look here, look here, listen. So I've never really built with bamboo before. I'm a little bit nervous to pull it all off and see how it's going to look. No matter what though, 100%, bamboo is a little bit intense and shocking. What I was thinking here is maybe somehow I could come in and like, maybe add a little bit of depth to the farm, put like a ceiling out of it or something, and then maybe transition the bamboo wood into oak logs. But instead of like plain old oak logs, what if we had like, I don't know, stripped oak logs, something like that up there. Then right here, this is gonna be a fully solid and filled in window. We have a window right there to make sure the pistons don't spit the bamboo that'll be planted there, like out past one block. See, I'm not sure for sure, but I think something like this, like big arch windows I'm thinking here. And then of course we have like a roof overhang or something like that. That could look pretty cool. And maybe even in hindsight, if I'm going to have these arch windows, maybe I should like pop out the oak logs too. One block further. Another really important thing to remember, make sure you get it when you build a bamboo farm like this is a ceiling. If you don't put a ceiling on top of it, you could end up with bamboo being spit out of the top of this farm. Not exactly what you want either. Of a bamboo, when the devs were making this up, they went hard. Look at this thing right here. I want to use the brand new, beautiful, unique bamboo mosaic block as well. I was thinking maybe we could have staircases arching in here, something like that. And then maybe come in with like bamboo mosaic to make it look like the staircases are like connecting or something. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That definitely adds a little bit of variation and makes it look so much more cool. Oh, bamboo mosaic, bamboo. We're going to have all of this so soon. Now, speaking of, we're going to have all of this so soon. At this point in the build today, aside from the sides that I could fill in really, really quickly with a little bit of extra bamboo planks, maybe? Aside from that and the glass that I need to get on the front of this farm that I'll put in in a second, we could actually already start planting this farm and let it run. The bamboo farm, there's going to be a whole lot more to it today than just the automatic machine. But for the automatic machine, that's basically it. As soon as we seal this in just like that, bamboo is never going to be able to get out. And as soon as bamboo grows in front of the observer, the observer will observe it just like that. And all of the pistons will fire and harvest everything. Bamboo falls on the ground. Minecart picks it up for me efficiently, easily, and automatically. So at this point, in a sense, the automatic farm, it's up and running. And actually, that's all I would need to do. I could stop here with the bamboo farm and not supercharge this thing. What I mean, come on. I could stop here and not supercharge this thing. Or I could do even more work and make this thing even more good. And how it is today for longevity, for long term, this bamboo farm is forever. There's no shortcuts. No, 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 no shortcuts at all. All right now, laddies, I don't know about you, but I think it's three, two, one. Time to build. Let's do this.
All right, so at this point of the build today, things are going exceptionally, exceedingly well. I think the build is starting to shape up and look really, really nice. I cleaned up the land a little bit in here. I'm thinking definitely have a road and then maybe like a staircase cut down to like this area over here. Remember, I was still thinking about doing like a central plaza or something over there, but we'll figure that out later. Back over here at the farm, I haven't touched a single piece of bamboo and whew, look at that thing, two sacks of it already. And I mean, I was probably building for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Not that long, really. Over here on the build is starting to take shape. I want to do a lot of staircases and things like that. Then I've got the stripped oak all the way around the top, including on the backside. I think it's just like a shadow or something that looks uh, different, but it doesn't matter too much because we won't see it anyways. So remember, we're not building just any bamboo farm. We're building a supercharged bamboo farm in order to supercharge this baby. But also at the same time, maybe make it look a little bit more beautiful. I think we gotta come in here with more variation, lads. I was thinking maybe a little bit of dark oak as well. I think the tones in the dark oak are gonna look really, really nice with the bamboo. In fact, I was actually kind of maybe considering doing a dark oak roof on it. That could look cool. Other things that I like to get on this build is even more bamboo details. I really like the bamboo fences. I think they look cool. Maybe we could use those on the side to like solid things up. Then over here on this side, this is gonna be like the main entrance to the inside of the build. I was thinking maybe we do like stone bricks on the top, have some windows right there, and then like, and then I was thinking maybe like step up right here, make like a small porch. I, see, maybe we could make like small porches, do like a step up or something, and then I'll have like the main doors of the build sit right here. Definitely bamboo doors. Legally speaking, it's the only option, and I mean, they look so good. And then trap doors. Another thing we're gonna need on this build, 120% of the time is gonna be a little bit of trap doors. Over on the front of this thing, imagine that right there. We have the trap door to finish the arch and then a trap door on the top to blend the color up even more. Yeah, that's it. When it comes to the color, the copper that should be on today's build, oh, I'm still so unsure. I can't decide at all. So your unwarranted copper takes are definitely warranted down in the comments. You put them there. Tell me what you think I should do. But anyways, moving up to the top of the build. Top of the build, dark oak wood for sure and maybe like a spruce wood combination as well. I was thinking I want to have the build hang over the path a little bit so then one day soon when I have so much iron, like so much in fact that I couldn't be bothered to have even more iron, I could put like lanterns hanging from it. That could look pretty good. After that, from that point on with the build, I mean it's all pretty straightforward. It's looking pretty good down here so I don't think we need to change anything. I just need to add a little bit more. Anyways, lads, I think you maybe catch the gist of it. And that's enough talky talking for me. It's time for the final time lapse of the day. Let's, Let's go. go. Haha, <laughs> or so you thought. You were probably just thinking a second ago that you were going to get finally at a long last 30 seconds or so of silence. You don't have to hear me anymore. Well, my friend, I've tricked you. It's time for today's comment of the day. Oh, captain, my captain. We should rename the bridge to Bonzo Bridge in his sweet, sweet memory. Yeah, so um, in between episodes, right before we did the tree farm thing, it was very strange. From a strange intergalactic galaxy, Bonzo just basically warped right over to me. Or at least I think it's Bonzo. No matter what the specific details of the situation are, I love this idea. The bridge that swoops deeply and longly over the cavernous fjord is hereby named Bonzo Bridge. I'll make sure I go ahead and add a sign to the bridge at some point, declaring it forever. Oh, my friends, if you're jumping, please stop it right now because I've done it. You might fall. This build... Ah, oh, well, this build, I've done it. I think it's quite beautiful, quite small, quite bamboo. And oh my gosh, I've, I've been walking around looking at this build, like seeing how it fits into the world. And oh yeah, that's cozy. That's so cozy. It's so cool looking. <sighs> I, I just finished crying and I might cry again. I'm so proud. Oh, and wow, how the copper, it grows up so quickly here. It's aging already. The more and more that I look at this build, the so warm tone with the yellow and the orange, I think I need the green tone, fully oxidized copper, but that's just gonna be a waiting game. We don't really have an easy way to make it faster here today. Over on the inside of the build, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I couldn't uh, decide for the longest time what I want to do with this back wall of the build, and then it hit me. I mean, it's bamboo. Why not maybe just like make the entire back wall bamboo? And speaking of bamboo, I've been stumped with this top area too. Until now, I know what to do up there too. Now just like the, oh, with that tree filled in there, that looks even more crazy and cozy. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, and by the way, on the front of the build here, just to make sure the bamboo continually grows forever, I went ahead and put a little bit of a shroom light. Is that what it's called? <sighs> yeah, I put that stuff there. 
And that brings me to an error with this farm. So it's sad, but when building a bamboo farm with this method, sometimes bamboo can idle around on top of that block. Now typically, all you should need to do is wait for the pistons to fire again. And when they fire again eventually, like when more plants grow up or something, the bamboo should get pushed off of the other bamboo. Hopefully that happens before it despawns. So check this out, and over on the top of the build, I was stumped with this area, didn't really know what to do. Then it kinda hit me. We got a lot of bamboo going on, I did a whole wall of fences and it looks good. What if I did this top awning as fences too? You won't really be able to see the weird block combinations from down low on the ground. You're just gonna see like a ton of dark oak and a lot of fences. And then, oh my gosh, I don't know, I didn't try this quite yet, but the top of the build, I think this might become one of my favorite builds. It might beat out that one. I was thinking maybe, what if we put like dark oak logs on the top, right? We start there. Then I go ahead and turn and then go over to like where this cross section is. Then I will go ahead and, you know, temporary block, turn it again. And I will continuously strip all of this until I have all of the logs in, outlining the top. Now let me be clear right now that I haven't tried this and I haven't taken a look at it from the distance, so I have no clue how this idea is going to work out. Maybe it won't. But hopefully here, big fingers crossed, this definitely will work out. This is what I was thinking. We'd start with a solid flat frame on the top of the roof. Then to finish off the frame, I come in with a couple more logs and I like stack them up a little bit. Then I will come back in and strip the logs too. Of course, being a full build, I have been doing the front and the full back side of the build too, so we do it over there. But if I were to leave it like this, it looks a little bit like a medieval castle. To stop it from looking like a medieval castle, what if I maybe came in here with like fences? And capped it off. No, 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 no. I said, what if I maybe came in here with fences and capped it all off? I feel like, logically speaking, given the fact that this is a bamboo farm and we're gonna actually, spoiler alert, have bamboo growing on the inside too, I feel like, logically speaking, we would want this thing to be open to the skies with the plants inside. I mean, look, I know a thing or two about growing plants and yeah, a little bit of H2O, a little bit of oxygen, and definitely a little bit of sunlight. Well, those are the three main components. I think it's beautiful. I'm not sure, but I think that's beautiful. And then to the inside of the build, that is quite literally the perfect segue to the end of the build today. Aside from some small path pathing, path a staircase casing that I'm gonna need to get in before I finish up today's build, the inside. Over on the inside of the build today, seeing as this is a bamboo farm and I would like to have the option, the option of easy breezy automatic production or manual harvesting. I'm left with one option. There's only one thing that I could do to finish off this farm and in order to supercharge this wonderful bamboo farm and have it ready for harvesting anytime I need a lot of bamboo in the future. All I need to do is plant a lot more bamboo. Over on the inside of the farm, here's what I was thinking. I left a little bit of grass in open space. What I wanna do is plant a ton of extra bamboo on the floor all over the place. Then what I'm gonna continue doing over time as I continue to harvest up bamboo, which I'm gonna continuously do, is not only fill in the rest of the back wall with even more bamboo planks, so the next time you see it, it's fully solid. But also I was thinking like maybe hopefully bamboo can grow really, really tall. Like you can see it's already taken off in there. Maybe eventually it'll end up growing through the ceiling a little bit, or I could like make it grow through the ceiling. And then not only do you have bamboo on the front of the build, but you have like a rooftop sky garden to finish this entire thing off today. A rooftop sky garden to finish it all off. Oh, that's it. <laughs> With all of that great work in progress made on our bamboo farm today, I would like to formally welcome you to the future. Easy, relatively efficient, automatic wood. The entire time we're moving around at our base? Well, yeah, we're set forever. Who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day in the future, we'll go ahead and build us an even bigger bamboo farm with a flying machine and everything cool like that. But at the least, you set one of these bad boys up inside of your world, just like we did here today. And I mean, like I just said, literally, it's automatic wood for free. All you need to do is have it loaded in. It's that easy. As a nice added bonus too, anytime I'm impatient, maybe I need a little bit more extra bamboo really quick. All I need to do is walk into the inside of this farm and harvest everything. For the most part though, I have a pretty good feeling it's gonna be all automatic beauty for us. And so friends, that's it. The easy automatic bamboo farm of your dreams. What do you think about the build? Let me know. I'm super excited for what I got planned for these next couple of episodes. You should be excited. We're gonna do something pretty different. For now, that's just about it. Smash like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and check out the end card. On the end card, there's gonna be the playlist to the entire series. 
Patrons get episodes early, members get world downloads, and Instagram followers? Well, I'll show up in your feed. Until next time, right at sunset beautifully, it's been me, Waters. Goodbye.